Sadly, between 2009 and 2011, accidental drowning accounted for 91% of deaths of autistic kids ages 14 years and younger. This is a staggering statistic. But the reason we bring this up and the reason we wanna make this video is because there's so much that we can do as parents and caregivers to teach these children and to help them have a fun, safe time in the water. In this video, we'll be going over three tips for autism in the water. After driving a thousand miles in a day in our RV, we finally are in Florida, and the kids have a blast at Universal Studios. What's happening? Ezra even finds a ride that puts an amazing smile on his face. You can see that video here. And now the whole family gets to spend the day at Orlando Water Sports Complex. And we run into a big surprise when we get to meet four-time world champion wakeboarder, Sean Murray. You care if you're on our YouTube channel? What's up, y'all? We're at OWC in Orlando. This will wear you out, no joke. Please consider subscribing. We upload daily of our unique normal and our family travels, which we include all of our kids. Tip number one, introduce your child to things related to swimming beforehand as much as possible. If your child needs earplugs while in the water or goggles, have them try it on and wear them even before they get into the water. We want to try and make the least amount of new things possible. The more the child is prepared for the experience of swimming, the better. You might not know this, but these kids' daddy's favorite pastime is wakeboarding. Daddy wants to go wakeboarding on a real boat. I wonder how Ezra and Simon will like riding on this kind of a boat. This is new for them. I love seeing Ezra's smile on this boat. You can tell he's really in his element. Over it, you laugh. They both seem not to mind the wind in their face or the loud motor of the boat. Tip number two. Create a routine to teach safety measures. This advice can be used in many cases, but especially in swimming. My kids love routine. They often feel safe and more sure of themselves and confident when they have a routine that they can depend on. Many children, autistic or not, are drawn to spend time in the water. It can encourage imaginary play and be a way to bring friends together socially while giving the child a chance for exercise. While we're in Florida visiting the national parks, we can't pass up visiting Orlando Water Sports Complex. It's quite the paradise. Sadly, Simon and Ezra are too young to play on this obstacle course, but Benson, Mark, and Marie decided to try it out. Oh, and Daddy too. That guy right there is a professional wakeboarder, the world champion. He's just like, he's dad right now. <laughs> <laughs> so did you guys try the trampoline out there? You're good. Woo! Good job. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're good. You care if you're on our YouTube channel? What's up, y'all? We're at OWC in Orlando. This will wear you out, no joke. <laughs> OWC is pretty much a kid's paradise. Water's lava. Is that what you guys are playing? Water's lava? Water's lava. Nice. All right, water's lava, you guys. Don't get in. Good job. Good Woo! Good job. Good job. Wow. Okay. Uh, Good job. Ah, oh, no, you're burning, burning, burning. Oh, no. Uh, this is kind of not an adult rope. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is? Okay, you, you, you show us how it's done. 
So you gotta hold high, hold knees high, knees into the bar. Okay. Feet to feet's a goal. Feet to feet. Nice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we traveled a lot with our family with our five kids and two who are autistic and we've run into famous people and we just have to say no one is as down to earth and friendly as sean murray if you're a fan of wakeboarding be sure to check out his youtube channel we'll put a link to it in the description below all right all right let's go to the mountain guys we never went to the mountain <laughs> You crazy? <laughs> Simon, what are you doing? How'd you get a water balloon? Tip three, communicate with those working at the facility. Wherever you're gonna go swimming, talk to those around you. A little communication goes a long way. Let the workers and any lifeguards know about the needs of your child and of the level of confidence that they have in the water. When we go places, I'll reassure people that the noises Ezra makes are normal for him and it doesn't mean he's sad or mad. I'll point out that he's actually happy. Simon, where are we? It's a nice evening, we had a great day wakeboarding today, super fun. Time for dinner, and you can see around here we're, we're doing house cleaning, right? This is our our house cleaning, includes cleaning the van. Yummy fries going here. Ooh, curly fries. Those are some good looking burgers. Yeah. Hey, who's ready for some hamburgers? Yay! Yay! I like our Caesar salad. Are you ready, Ezra? You already ate your bun. High five. Good job. Good job. And Dad is coming in with the hamburger patties. Yeah. There's the fries and the hamburgers. And yummy fries. Do we have cheese? There's cheese in the burgers. Yeah, these are cool burgers that the cheese is inside. Simon, is that num num? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you, you nod your head. Yes. <laughs> num num. <laughs> when we first started this trip, we wanted to teach the kids the value of service. So the next morning, Daddy and Mark wake up super early so they can help out in a soup kitchen in Orlando, Florida. So super early, Mark and I, it took me 10 minutes to wake up this morning. My alarm going off, but we're here. We're doing some volunteer work at the food kitchen in Orlando. So let's go. Mark, you're looking like a chef. Good job. Here we go. Great job, Mark. Getting all those built. After this, we explore islands and reefs at Biscayne National Park. You can see that video here. And our autism playlist is right here. <laughs> 